So one of the things I did when I was making the video, like not making the video, but making the song itself, I was just kind of drawing some stuff. I had this character that I did once when I was just trying to do some animation in a program called Blender. And it was just kind of, I don't know, it was while we were doing the Spaghetti Midwestern EP and I was just trying to do an animation. And I thought I might want to do a video for it. And then the EP went on and I was still learning how to do Blender and it got kind of backed up. So I never did. So this character is from that. And I also recently had been reading some mystery comics, some old 40s, like four color mystery comics. And I watch a lot of old monster movies and things like that. And this was kind of like I wanted to do something in that realm. So I did. So while we were recording the song or while we were mixing it during that time, I was using a program on my tablet called Flip a Clip, which lets you make GIF animations. So what I had done is I drew these pictures and I decided to bring them into Flip a Clip and make these GIF animations that I'm that I got here. So these are different scenes from it, but all these are pretty much between 2 and 3 seconds. I did small little things where I just animated certain parts like starting out here with the car. It's just going through going over a hill. So what it does is I, you can create up to three layers on top of each other. So I would draw the background and then I drew the car. I only needed two of them for this one. So the car would have to come up from the background and it sped over and that was about it. And then the next scene I did, this guy here is driving and basically the only animation I needed, I drew the interior, I drew the guy um, I think I put the guy on another level or on his own layer because I thought maybe I was going to animate the guy. But instead, all I did is I just animated him, animated him blinking. So it gives, essentially, it's kind of like each one of these are comic book panels, but they're, they're animated. They're, it's, it's also a throwback to not only the old monster movies and the old comic books, but there was a series of Marvel comics that was put out where what they did is they actually brought in scenes that were drawn by Jack Kirby into uh, an animation process where they would just take pieces of it or they would do camera things that camera tricks that made it look like it was animated. And that's what this does. Just like here, the car is now just sitting there static, but a bird is flying in the background, just kind of creating the mood. And then this one's just a quick little head turn. There's the woman standing there where she's in the doorway or, uh, up the up the stairwell of the what's it a mausoleum wherever you bury people I forget but that's where she's standing up there looking at him and the only thing I did is these two pieces right there I animated the hair and the dress and the rest of it's just a static background got some other scenes turns on the light this one's actually probably one of the few complex scenes it has three layers I drew a background I have the guy and I have the eyes animate. So it comes in a series where the guy blinks first. It all is to give movement. And they're all like one after the other. He blinks. Then he jumps up and down. Or he moves up and down like he's going to take a step. And then moves forward. And the light turns on. So all those are a different process. And they're all shared layers. And they all happen one after the other to give like, make it look like tons of stuff is happening. Well, I guess tons of stuff is happening in that one. Just they're all gifts. And then I basically I did all these. Here's another one. That's the guy walking away. All these different things are just gifts that I created using flip a clip. And then, of course, the driving away scene. So. Let's uh, let's take a look at what I did for the actual video. <laughs> going into this is a program that I use called Caden Live. I do most of our videos in it. It's a free open source video editor that I use that actually uh, is built in with Ubuntu Studio. I'm using the Ubuntu Linux operating system, which is what we use for all of our stuff. And here are all the scenes that I just showed you up here on the top left, along with uh, different things I added like text and all that are in there as well. But for the most part, these are the scenes like here's that first animated scene. So this is the staging area where you can show the scenes that you select in your log of imported videos here. So if I cycle through these and on the right here is where the actual timeline of the video is seen. 
So we start out here with scene one, which in flip a clip, I, la I labeled them by scenes because I knew it would get confusing if I didn't do that otherwise. So here's the one with the car driving. And what I did is in the beginning of the video, which is on the right here, I'll actually select this so it doesn't get confusing. On the right here, you'll see there's the background. And what I did is I actually froze the frame with like a PNG here. So this is just a frozen frame and I brought that in to the actual video editor. So it goes that long and then the song underneath here is playing. That way I had time to add the logo and then the words. And then the car comes in. Once the car came in, you know that it stops right there. So what I did is this is part of the animation trick. I zoomed in. A lot of the other tricks that I did are, here's this scene right here where the guy was blinking. I used a pan and zoom thing to make him go off screen to make it look like more stuff is happening. So those are the types of things that I did to put this video together. We zoomed in here on the woman, then he's blinking. When does he blink? And blink, there it is. So this scene is one where the flashlight is just going back and forth. So what I did too is I realized that it wasn't very clear that it was the same thing in the end of the video as it was when he's looking at it here. So I zoomed in on it. This actually was more more of a plot point rather than kind of a uh, trying to pad the scene sort of thing. And that's basically sort of the method that I did is it's just a lot of using the same scenes. He gets grabbed from behind, but then zoom in on him to go that they're looking at each other to kind of take two different angles of the same scene. Towards the end, when they finally drive away after the woman comes out of the, oh yeah, when she comes out of the, the crypt, it's just three repeating frames of the, the, I don't know what it would be, lightning, the magic, the power that's around the person. And then I also added an old film effect that would shake the screen up and down. This particular scene I needed for this particular part of the song, but, just standing there watching it do nothing. I was like, well, what if it starts to manipulate what's happening around it? So I added a distortion effect to kind of wiggle it. I don't know, I think it worked. And added this layer of the animation before of the person or of the uh, evil, evil being that came out of the coffin fades in and watching them drive away as the car froze in the same spot, which all I did was I just flipped it around the other way so it looks like they're driving away. And then I was like, hey, remember that distortion effect that I had? Well, why don't I use that and make it all, that's how it'll end and fades out. That's just some insight as to how I made those. It was all just a series of animated GIFs that I did while we were working on the song and then just kind of pieced them all together and then edited them to make the video. And you can check that out at lorenzosmusic.com. And there'll be some more videos coming up soon, but that's just how I did this one for the song With You.